Good morning, everyone, parents, students, and parishioners. Welcome to our first school uh, Friday Mass for 2021. Happy New Year. Today we celebrate the Friday after the Epiphany and soon approach the end of the Christmas season. Thank you for joining us in person or from home through Zoom or YouTube. Students, please stay tuned on Zoom after Mass to hear our weekly school and student council announcements. And to begin, please stand as we welcome our celebrant, Father Ernesto. Alegre la mañana que nos habla de Dios. Alegre la mañana. Alegre la mañana que nos habla de ti. Alegre la mañana en el nombre del Padre, del Hijo y del Espíritu. Salimos de la noche y estrenamos la aurora. Saludamos con gozo la luz que nos llega, resucitada y resucitadora. Alegre la mañana que nos habla de Dios, alegre la mañana, alegre la mañana que nos habla de ti. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Welcome to this celebration, this uh, beautiful, foggy, cold morning. So hopefully you are really covered. Um, also welcome, as Alex said, to our students, uh, the first mass of this new year. So happy new year. And also, uh, we are continuing praying, especially for uh, the union um, of our country. We have experienced uh, violence, we have experienced and still experiencing all this division all over our country of the U.S. So this Mass, we also uh, will pray for the unity, for reconciliation, and especially that we can work together. We can find ways to accept and to work for the well-being of everybody. And for us to celebrate these sacred mysteries in a little moment of silence, we ask God for forgiveness for our sins. Y en un momentito de silencio le pedimos perdón al Señor por nuestros pecados. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most greatest fault. Therefore I ask all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May your mighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Cantamos el Señor ten piedad. Señor, ten piedad de nosotros. Señor, ten piedad de nosotros. Cristo. Let us pray. Grant, we ask, Almighty God, that the Nativity of the Savior of the world may known by the guidance of the star, 
may be revealed ever more fully to our minds through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Please be seated to listen to the readings. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, who indeed is the victor over the world, but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the one who came through water and blood, Jesus Christ, not by water alone, but by water and blood. The Spirit is the one who testifies, and the Spirit is truth. So there are three who testify, the Spirit, the water, and the blood, and the three are of one accord. If we accept human testimony, the testimony of God is surely greater. Now the testimony of God is this, that he has testified on behalf of his Son. Whoever believes in the Son of God has this testimony within himself. Whoever does not believe God has made him a liar by not believing the testimony God has given about his son. And this is the testimony. God gave us eternal life, and this life is in his son. Whoever possesses the son has life. Whoever does not possess the son of God does not have life. I write these things to you so that you may know that you have eternal life, you who believe in the name of the Son of God. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm is, Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Glorify the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion, for he has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He has granted peace in your borders. With the best of wheat, he fills you. He sends forth his command to the earth, swiftly runs his word. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He has proclaimed his word to Jacob, his statutes and his ordinances to Israel. He has not done thus for any other nation, his ordinances he has not made known to them. Alleluia. Praise, Praise the Lord, Lord, Jerusalem. Please stand. Alle, alleluia, alleluia. Jesus proclaimed the gospel of the kingdom and cured every disease among the people. Alle, alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alle, alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. It happened that there was a man full of leprosy in one of the towns where Jesus was. And when he saw Jesus, he fell prostrate, pleaded with him and said, Lord, if you wish, you can make me clean. Jesus stretched out his hand, touched him, and said, I do will it, be made clean. And the leprosy left him immediately. Then he ordered him not to tell anyone, but go show yourself to the priest and offer for your cleansing what Moses prescribed, that will be proved for them. The report, of, the report about him spread all the more, and great crowds assembled to listen to him. 
and to be cured of the ailments, but he would withdraw to deserted places to pray. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. Okay, let's see how many are connected, maybe five. Hi guys, good morning. How are you doing? Good. Welcome to this new year. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed your vacations uh, with your family at home, right? So we're still at home, so <laughs> no place to run. Uh, uh, the first thing I want to share with you is that, um, believe it or not, uh, we are still in Christmas season, Christmas time. And um, this coming Sunday, God willing, we're going to celebrate the baptism of our Lord. And then with that solemnity, we are going to end the season of Christmas. So if you already removed your Christmas lights, you already burned your Christmas tree, Sorry, but um, we are still in Christmas season. And also, in our world, in our stores, you know, if you go to these big stores, they have already all the things that we can buy for Valentine's. And that's very sad because our materialistic world doesn't allow us to really enjoy what is important, what is really uh, centered to our faith. And it is the uh, born of our Savior, of our Lord Jesus Christ. So my first invitation would be uh, for all of us, and especially for our students, to try to slow down, to enjoy really our liturgical times, our liturgical seasons, because, of course, our world just wants us to consume, to buy, to spend money. But as we hear in the first reading, we are not only water, blood. In other words, we can, we can say we are not only flesh and bones. We are also spirits. And we need to take care of our spirits. We need to take care of what is central to our existence and it is to take care of that spiritual side that is in us and of course our world doesn't want us to think that we are also spirits that we are sons children of sons and daughters children of God they just want us to believe that we are here in this world to eat to sleep a little bit to get fat, you know, las lonjas. And then to die. That's it. No. We are in this world not only to eat, sleep, work. We are also in this world, as we heard in the gospel, to be good to others, to heal others, to accept others. That's what Jesus came that's why we still celebrating a uh, Christmas season. As you see, we still have here our nativity. We still have our Christmas streets, our lights, because it is very central, very important for us to really understand how important, how central it is to take care of our spiritual the spiritual part that is in ourselves. And I know it's challenging. I know uh, we want to buy more things. We want to, you know, be happy. But that kind of happiness doesn't, um, is very, it goes away very easy. And hopefully, you know, and I invite you together with your parents to really reflect and see and enjoy our liturgical times, our liturgical seasons, and slow down, slow down, because, you know, life, as they say, is beautiful, and we need to learn how to live it. Of course, also in the gospel, the other thing, as I was saying, 
Jesus came into this world to make it a better place, to teach us that we can love, that we can heal the pains of our brothers and sisters. And that's very challenging, of course. Again, our world invites us to be self-centered, selfish, to only think about me, 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 and after me. But then when we just are selfish, we only think about ourselves, then we become so empty in our hearts. And then we would we need to buy more things to feel happy. But when we help others, when we see the need, when we are good to others, then not only we feel better in our hearts, but also we make better our world. And if there is something that we need, especially in our country, is precisely that. To see the presence of God, to see in others that they are our brothers and sisters, and instead of being violent, instead of trying to destroy things, hopefully we will learn to talk, to dialogue, to accept one another, and especially to work together. Amen. Because the more we are divided, the more we are violent, the more we destroy not only our societies, but also our families. And so, students and parents of our students, welcome back from your vacations. Welcome back to continue your formation, your studies. Hopefully, you will keep doing as good as you have been doing in the past, I mean, last year. And especially remember to always try to take care of your spiritual being, your soul. And hopefully through the help of your parents, by praying, by, you know, talking about still the Nativity of Jesus, about Christmas, and hopefully on Sunday, you will talk with your uh, parents about your baptism, our baptism. When were you baptized? Ask your parents, why did they baptize you? What did they find? in our faith that they decided to baptize. But at the end, the invitation is to slow down, to enjoy our lives, to day by day really live our lives without being in a hurry. And as I said also, we'll pray, and I ask you to pray at home also for the unity of our country. Entonces hoy en el Evangelio vemos que este leproso se acerca a Jesús y en aquel tiempo, ¿verdad? Ah, cuando uno se enfermaba, del, de, era leproso, tenía la lepra, era considerado ah, como alguien despreciable, hasta la misma familia lo consideraban ya muerto. ¿Por qué? Porque en aquel tiempo, más de dos mil años, pues no había cura. Y no sé si han visto en fotos o en algunas películas, ¿verdad? Lo que hace la lepra en una persona. Se va carcomiendo la carne. Y uno de los primeros signos de la lepra es que los labios empiezan a desaparecer. Entonces, el aspecto de la persona cambia mucho. Y uh, el tocar a un leproso, el dejar que se acercara, pues era un peligro. Es así como ahorita para nosotros un poquito, a ver, acércate a uno que tiene COVID, ¿verdad que no? <ríe> Le corremos. O si alguien estornuda o tose, ¿verdad? El, el, casi queremos sacar el ISO. El... Bueno, algo así, pero vamos a decir unas 50 veces más grave en aquel tiempo. Porque lo sacaban de su casa. Lo sacaban de su familia, de la sociedad, del little uh, ranchito, little village. Y pues se cubrían, traían una campanita para avisar cuando iban o algo que hiciera ruido, para que la gente no se le acercara y también para que la gente no dejaran que se acercaran. Entonces este leproso se acerca a Jesús, se postra, 
Y lo increíble es que Jesús lo toca. Y también en aquel tiempo cuando tocabas un leproso, pues tenías que hacer muchos rituales de purificación. Pero Jesús acepta que este leproso se acerque. Y sobre todo, ¿verdad? Una de las cosas es su humildad. Las palabras del leproso, si tú quieres, puedes curar. Y esa es una de las maneras como nosotros ojalá nos acerquemos a Dios. No con arrogancia, no con orgullo, ¿verdad? No como los ejemplos que he dicho, oh, quiero que mi uh, equipo de fútbol gane, eso he hecho 20 dólares. Y si no gana, quiero mis 20 dólares de regreso. Eso es ser arrogantes, eso es querer comparar a Dios. Y hoy esta persona leprosa nos demuestra, nos enseña a ser humildes, a acercarnos con humildad y sobre todo con mucha fe. Y Jesús lo cura. Y en lugar de Jesús hacer, ¿verdad?, un escándalo, oh, lo curé, dice, ve en silencio, preséntate, haz tus sacrificios, tu purificación. Y eso es siempre, ¿verdad?, siempre lo he dicho. Cuando uno hace mucho alboroto de que sana, de que la misa de sanación, de que acá, que allá, y se hacen famosos, Jesús nunca hizo eso. Jesús siempre, cuando hizo el bien, lo hizo en silencio lo hizo en secreto y no lo predicó y a eso nos invita Jesús a la humildad ahora un poquito más aplicándolo a nuestros a nuestras vidas podemos decir y preguntarnos cuáles son entre comillas los leprosos de nuestro tiempo a quienes despreciamos a quienes no queremos y claro, lo, lo podemos pensar, ¿no? Pues el que vive ahí en la calle o el que, ¿verdad?, uh, está por allá. No, tristemente muchas veces los leprosos que más sufren son los leprosos, otra vez entre comillas, que están en nuestras casas. Puede ser nuestro esposo, nuestra esposa, nuestros hijos. Entendiendo leprosos como aquellos a los que hacemos a un lado, aquellos que no los tomamos en cuenta. Aquellos que no escuchamos. También, ¿verdad? Como tratamos a los que son diferentes de nosotros. Por el color, por el lenguaje, por el origen, por su sexualidad también. ¿Cuánto nos está costando aceptar a nuestros hermanos y hermanas que son diferentes de nosotros? Que piensan diferentes, ¿verdad? Lo acabamos de ver el miércoles. Entonces, en este día pensar cuáles son los leprosos, empezando en nuestras familias. Y si hay leprosos, otra vez entre comillas, en nuestras familias, ¿cómo puedes sanar? ¿Cómo puedes aceptarlos? ¿Cómo puedes curarlos? Puede ser que no tenga ninguna enfermedad, pero en ocasiones, como dicen por ahí, las enfermedades que más duelen y matan son las del corazón. Y ahí es donde, ojalá también, le pidamos a Dios como leproso, si tú quieres puedes curarme y ojalá que Dios nos cure todas esas lepras que tenemos en nuestros corazones. Amén. De pie por favor, please stand. Born of water and spirit, heirs of life eternal in Christ, we pray, abide with us. Abide with us. For bishops and presbyters, for preachers and prophets, for truthful testimony before God, we pray, abide, abide with, with us. us. For those preparing for baptism, for those struggling with faith, 
for the inspiration of the Spirit, we pray, abide, abide with, with us. For those who bear witness in court, for judges and juries, for unity in search of truth, we pray, abide, abide with, with us. For those who betray the truth, for those who bear false witness, for repentance and return to the testimony of God, we pray, abide, abide with, with us. For the sick, for those whose spirits are troubled, for hope in the life of the Son, we pray, abide, abide with, with us. For the dead, for those who died without hope, for a share in the life-giving testimony of the Son, we pray, abide, abide with, with us. Estamos también pidiendo en esta misa por la salud y el bienestar de Natividad, Natividad Beltrán, Francisco Soria, Rafael y Erlinda Dávila, por el bienestar de Donald Trump y el bienestar de Susana Vargas. Pedimos por ellos para que el Señor los bendiga, los proteja y acompañe. Roguemos al Señor. Por nuestros hermanos y hermanas difuntitos, especialmente recordamos a Corazón Castillo, para que el Señor le conceda el descanso eterno, la reciba en su reino y la corona de gloria. Roguemos al Señor. In a little moment of silence, we present to our Lord our own personal petitions and prayers. We pray, abide with us. O God of truth, your spirit speaks within us, a word of light that cannot fail. Make us faithful witnesses to the saving death of Christ, that the grace of baptism may bring to fullness the life you promise in your eternal Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Pueden sentarse para continuar nuestra celebración. Sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the mystery of the world made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love things invisible. 
and so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Santo, Santo, es el Señor, Dios del Universo, llenos está en el cielo y la tierra de su gloria. Oh, sana, oh, sana, oh, sana en el cielo, oh, sana, oh, sana, oh, sana en el cielo. Holy Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them, light that you fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coherent to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And also as we pray the Our Father, we remember all our brothers and sisters who are sick of the COVID, also especially students. Also we have some teachers who are uh, sick already. So we pray for all of them as we say, Our Father, the kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope 
and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. In Christ we offer to one another, Son of Christ, peace. <laughs> Sisters, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. May the body and blood of Jesus Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Now I'm going to say the prayer of, uh, of spiritual communion for our brothers and sisters at home. O my Jesus, I believe you are truly present in the Holy Communion. I love you above all things and want you to come into my soul. I cannot receive you now in Holy Communion. Please come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you, Lord, and unite myself to you. Please do not allow me to separate from you. Amen. Para los que van a comulgar, por favor, contesten el cuerpo de Cristo.
Serafines, ayudarme a bendecir. Ángeles y Serafines, ayudarme a bendecir a Jesús sacramentado que acabo de recibir. Ángeles y Serafines, ayudarme a bendecir. Dios te salve María. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega, Señora, por nosotros los pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Gloria al Padre, gloria al Hijo, gloria al Espíritu Santo. So as our principal said, for our students, please stay connected. There are announcements and uh, things that you need to know. So uh, don't, don't go anywhere, okay? De pie, por favor. Let us pray. O oh God, who touch us through our partaking of your sacrament, work, we pray, the effects of this power in our hearts, that we may be made fit to receive your gift through this very gift itself, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord and our brothers and sisters. Have a wonderful day. Que tengan un bonito día. Igualmente. Contigo voy a